this is Mick Foley. This is Harley Race. This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. And this is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans around the corner, around the world, I'm Dan Marotti. And I'm John Cena Sr. It is heating up, baby, because it is America's birthday. We wish you all a very happy July 4th, wherever you may be. If you're international, the day may not have much too much meaning to you, but I am uh, a, a huge fan of July the 4th. I remember celebrating it on Tony Atlas's porch last July 4th, and I fell down his broken concrete steps with all the holes in them, and I rolled around in the street as the fireworks went off, as no one heard my pleas for help. But I guess that's a story better explained in the book someday. I would hope so. What does America mean to you, John? America means to me the land of the free and the home of the brave. America means to me a place where anybody can come with the desire to succeed, to live and be somebody and something. A place where you can be respected. A place where you can grow. We have controversy. Every place has controversy. There is no greater country in the world that allows the freedoms that America allows. You know, you can't go to any other country and protest the way they protest here and without being locked up or shot. America is the greatest, the greatest country in the world. And the red, white, and blue on that flag says it all about the states, about the blue skies, the red blood that we shed. It's there, all of us should respect the flag, respect the country, and we should, a lot of us won't, stand up, respect those who serve us, police, fire, armed forces, stand up and salute and say, thank you, and God bless America. Hopefully your lady friend, Majo Oulet, appreciates being in the United States now. I'm sure she does. You know why she does? Because she makes money here. She met you. She, well, what can I say? She met you, baby. Well, you know, Monique She's is going to... Monice will meet up with Majo sooner or later. She's ready for some fireworks under the sheets, from what I'm told. With you, not me. No, no, not me. No, not me. All right, wrestling fans, the countdown is on to the big one. Our 20th anniversary. If you rewind back to the beginning of this crazy virus that has disrupted our world, uh, we had our Back to the 80s WrestleFest ready to bring to you in 2020. It has been postponed a year and a half to Saturday night, November the 13th, from the historic, legendary Memorial Hall, two blocks down the street from this fine studio in Melrose, Massachusetts. And it is gonna double again as our 20th anniversary celebration. What a night it is gonna be, beyond it being 20 years of the MWF with all these great legends, in the superstars and legends of yesterday, today, and tomorrow, competing in the squared circle. It's the kickoff to the Paul Bear Holiday Headlocks Toy Drive. Look, what a, what a combustible element with so much going on. It's going to be a happening, baby. Double trouble in my book. Well, we had eight tremendous 80s legends booked for our <laughs> original endeavor. And a lot has happened over that past year and a half. We have talent that has passed. We have talent that has left the country. We have talent that stole a cash deposit to be at the event. We have someone celebrating a birthday party, and we saw the unfortunate video of Paul Orndorff that surfaced online, which oh we're going to talk God. about on a Wrestling Insiders episode. So believe me, your friend Dan Marotti has been very, very hard at work trying to give you something, if not equal, something better. Uh, let's re refresh and update as we get ready to unload the tickets. For those of you that have already purchased your tickets, you got nothing to worry about. You're all set. You're good to go. You're good to go. But from there, we're going to go forward with tickets in such this way. Where our Boston Wrestling MWF Patreon family means so much to us, you get the first crack at the tickets once they are available again. After that, we're going to reach out to the, the few folks that did request refunds in the unknown times last spring, and we're going to see if you want to get back in the line, quote unquote, again, where the Fan Fest is going to be a numbered system. And then after that, we're going to release VIP packages and general admission tickets to all the fans. So there's a lot to look forward to, and you want to talk about a lot to look forward to, Johnny. This could, this is, 
on par with the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony. I mean, you're talking about headed your way Saturday night, November the 13th at Melrose, Massachusetts Memorial Hall. A man we've been trying to do it right with since 2005. We're 0 for 3 thus far, but I have a feeling now that he's a, a clean, sober man, active on AEW each and every Wednesday night on TNT, and on Friday night starting in August, Jake the Snake Roberts. I'm ready. I'm ready. I've done several shows with Jake. Jake is a wow. All I can say is wow. Be there for this one. That wasn't enough. What about the greatest tag team in the history of WWE? I don't care how many days New Day held the championship for. We're talking about Axe and Smash Demolition. There'll be a lot of Axe and Smash in there, I can tell you that. And if that wasn't enough fans in the first round of announcements, what about a man that is the personification of America? America's hero, no. Hacksaw Rick Jim Duggan. Yo! Oh! All right. I can't wait. I can't wait. And that's just the beginning, fans. We wanted to give you something to celebrate on July the 4th. It is sucked, to be honest, wow. that we've had to wait so long to bring you this event where we've worked so hard on it. And like I said, we are going to bring you a night you will never forget. The great legends are going to be available for the VIPs for Q&A session. There'll be autograph and photo sessions for all. We've got great VIP packages, again, that we're going to re-release uh, in the near future. Continue to follow our social media platforms in bostonwrestling.com for complete information. But do you, do you think that put a smile on their face for July 4th? Let me tell you something. It put a huge smile on my face. Right. And I, if these fans, uh, there's got to be more. I know you and Reese have got more planned for this well, outstanding we, we want to wish you all a very happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of we, July. We'd love your input on who else you might like to see that, you know, wouldn't cost uh, several years' salary like Hulk Hogan to bring in. For John Cena Sr., I'm Dan Marotti. Play it safe out there on July 4th. Don't drink and drive. Look at what happened to my people. No fireworks. There's, it's illegal in Massachusetts. You go to jail. Well, you got to leave the state if you want fireworks, I guess. For John Cena Sr., I'm Dan Marotti. Happy birthday, America, as my good friend, the Jackal used to say each and every year. Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year of unknown with professional wrestling content galore, and we need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after we review the previous night's Monday Night Raw, it's Wrestling Insiders at your house with the unpredictable WWE Hall of Famer, Mr. USA, Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights after WWE, NXT, and AEW at 10 p.m., you never know who's going to show up on Wrestling Insiders Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred, Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey Through the 80s and 90s on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday nights after the lights go down at the Thunderdome on SmackDown, it's John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, bonus live episodes, pay-per-view watch-alongs, and more. If you want early, ad-free access to all of our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and to help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times, for less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, join our growing family at patreon.com backslash Boston Wrestling. Expect the unexpected in 2021.